Welcome back to this already, the final segment of The Price of Business. I am your host, Kevin Price, talking to you about you and your business. Uh, enjoy having my good friend on. Uh, we enjoy his company, his information, his insight. Uh, the one and only Charles Alvarez. Uh, Charles Alvarez, easy for me to say. I've only said it hundreds of times now uh, because when I'm not talking about him in the studio, I'm, I'm recommending him and his company to others uh, out there. Uh, Cornerstone Business Academy is a game changer in business. I know that from firsthand experience. Uh, we originally uh, began working together with us as a client, and it's in, in transformative the work he's done uh, for uh, my business. And so I, I'm delighted to uh, always have him on the program and it introduces to people out there that he uh, gets to engage with in the world of business that are always great guests. I love how I don't know where you get these guests, but uh, you're doing a great job for us, Charles. Um, real quickly, tell us a little bit more about Cornerstone Business Academy, which you can go to at corner, cornerstonebusinessacademy.com and introduce your guest today. Well, we're really excited to have Wayne Klotz with us today. I mean, this guy is the expert when it comes to engineering projects here in Houston. And uh, uh, I actually um, bribe my guests, so that's actually where I find them. So I was really glad that uh, Wayne accepted my bribe. Wayne, good to have you on the show. Thanks a lot. And um, what bribe? I'm still looking for <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'd like to know what those bribes look like, too, because I might be able to broker some deals for you. So you get a piece of the bribe. But, Wayne, real quickly, kind of give us the elevator speech for Klaus and Associates. Well, Klotz Associates is a company that solves problems. We are in the infrastructure business, which is a big word that says uh, we build cities. Uh, if if you're involved in transportation, utilities, drainage, all of the things that it takes for us to be able to live together as human beings, that's what we do. Very good. Charles? So tell us about the challenges that your uh, your prospects, your clients are facing, and what does Klotz & Associates do to alleviate those challenges? Well, the biggest challenge that we have right now, quite candidly, is money. Uh, we do most of our work for public sector clients, cities, counties, state of Texas, people like that. And while a lot of folks, uh, particularly those in the energy business and in the medical field, are seeing a lot of money flow into their business, just think about the political campaigns that you see right now. It's who can cut the most. And so there's a lot of things you can't cut uh, in government. Uh, some of the social things, you've got to have your uh, public safety and basic like that. So what? when it's time to cut, where do you cut? You cut infrastructure. So at a time when our streets and drainage and utility systems are literally falling apart underneath our feet, uh, in order to meet the political uh, winds of time, we're seeing reduction in capital, uh, which is exactly the opposite of what we should be doing. So what do we do? We work with our clients. We show them uh, where they can maximize value. Uh, we show them how they can save money or get more out of the, the same, how they can finance things differently, because in the end, we've got to build these projects. Yeah, let me ask you, um, with that, a, a big percentage of your business is government. Uh, not only have they cut back, I, I'm assuming they're already notoriously so, slow at paying anyway when there's ever is government involved, but what percentage of your total business is government connected? We do probably 75 to 80 percent of our business is uh, public sector, and then the other 25 percent we are involved in a lot of commercial, night industrial, uh, land development type projects. Yeah, very good. Charles? So when it comes to hiring your firm, why should the these government entities or why should a private developer, for example, hire your firm versus any of the other uh, engineering firms here in Houston? Well, that's a great question, and I have a great answer. Uh, one of the things is that engineers are notorious for looking alike, sounding alike. Uh, people even accuse us of dressing alike. Um, that isn't funny. But anyway, <laughs> it, my wife tells me that uh, she does yeoman service when she goes to engineering events with me. But uh, the thing that we offer our clients is innovation without losing uh, the idea that we still have to provide practical and economical solutions. Uh, civil engineering is one of the most regulated of the industries uh, because we are in the public sector, because everything that we design and put out on, in the field uh, is subject to the public. There's a lot of guidelines and rules. Uh, what we've done is we've developed some ways to stay within the guidelines and the rules, but to actually give new solutions and, and 
uh, new ways to do things that, in the end, provide better product for less money. Let me ask you, Wayne, how large is your company in terms of number of employees? Uh, we have about 110 people right now. Of that, 80-plus uh, are engineers. Uh, we we believe that wow. engineering companies should do engineers, do engineering. So um, we have a very strong stable of people. Uh, every area of our business is led by somebody who has at least 25 years of experience. So when you hire us, uh, you're not having to pay for any training. Uh, we've already taken care of that. Yeah, very good, Charles. So give us a, uh, you, you talked about you know, your innovation, you're not your typical engineering firm. Can you kind of give us an example of what that looks like, either a, a client testimonial, of course, I know that you have to keep that somewhat confidential, but can you kind of give us a real-world application of how that, what that looked like? You, I'd be happy to. Uh, the one that comes to mind first, we did a project uh, for Harris County up on the north side called Burnhamwood Road. We were specifically selected to do that project because it was the first project that Harris County wanted uh, to construct based on low-impact design techniques. And so what we did was instead of the traditional way of draining a street, and you can imagine in your street a boulevard with a, a median, um, instead of putting a large concrete storm sewer under the street to take care of the drainage, we did away with that completely. And in the median, we put a what's called a bioswale, where we use all natural uh, native plants. We put the drainage in there so that in addition to not having to, the concrete, we also are providing aesthetics. It cleans the water. We provided uh, detention underground, did all of that. It looks better. It's easier to maintain, and in the end, it saved the county construction. So what we were able to do is something that had never been done in Harris County. Uh, it works better, looks better, and costs less, and I'm very proud of that because that's what we try to offer our clients. All right. I have to wrap it up. Charles Alvarez, he again is uh, with the Cornerstone Business Academy, cornerstonebusinessacademy.com. And also we've had Wayne Klotz with us. He's with Klotz Associates, and that's K-L-O-T-Z. You can get to him real quick, quick, quickly and very easily at Klotz, K-L-O-T-Z.com. Wayne, thanks for being with us. Thank you. It's been my pleasure. Charles, great as always. Thank you for having us, and great story there. That's really made an impression in my mind for sure. Absolutely inspirational. I appreciate that. Uh, when we come back uh, tomorrow, much more for you. If you want to remind you, the show continues 24-7 at priceofbusiness.com. New and improved uh, coming this week. You're going to love the changes. Check it out at priceofbusiness.com, and have a great rest of your day, and spend it right here.